Cottonwood bark. Keep, keep telling yourself, people. Keep telling yourself. Jordy, I don't need any more wood. I don't need any more wood, Jordy, but let's see what else is in here. <laughs> How could I not take this beautiful half log of cedar? Oh, uh, yeah. One more, just one more. Game changer right here, game changer. Yep, first year, 100% game changer. Okay, Jordy, that's four logs right there for today. That's good enough. We got some eight footers in there, or six footers. Good enough. Okay, I'll just take this last piece here, then that will be good enough. It's another piece of cedar log. Need to take it, need to have it, yep. Jordy, don't you think you have enough logs today to take back and carve? Ah, oh, shut up, look at that log, cedar. Look at this piece, shut up. See, look, cedar, it's all cedar, rotten cedar. I think you might have a problem. What are you talking about? Look at this cedar right here. Free wood's the best wood. Oh no, it's Douglas fur. But be quiet anyways. I'm going to carve. See, look. Tight grain western red cedar for free. Come on. Okay, so here's what we got so far. We got this uh, cedar piece. Red cedar, western red cedar. This is the taller piece of that. I cut it. This big piece of cedar, I'd say this is seven feet, red cedar. It's cracked up and down here, no big deal. Um, my intentions was, oh, I got this. I believe this is a Douglas fir. It's got a weird shape, so I grabbed it. It's got a hole down here. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cut because I wanted to do uh, like a face like uh, Ryan Cook taught me, coming out of the hole with the hands. But I think it's probably too hollow down here. So I don't know if I'll be able to use that. Maybe I could do it lower, but I don't know. This is just a cool log. And I got this cool piece of uh, Douglas fir. It's kind of like a lady's body. Um, so, but anyways, I was going to do that carving today, but there's such a nice cedar log down there. There's such a nice cedar log down there. I, uh, I asked Scott um, if he can help me today. He's not doing much. So he's already got the trailer hooked up to his truck. So we're going to go down there, and me and him are going to try and... Um, get that cedar log it's like way bigger than this but so if you look at the log the log down there has some rod in it right around this part of the log no big deal but it would be a nice log to make a bench there's a cool branch coming off of it so that's what's going to happen today and uh i'll just after i get that log, cut that log up and get it i'll probably be too tired to carve so anyways keep okay, it okay so it's a little bit windy out here now scotty hey scott yeah, he, uh, he lives where I carve with uh, he's with Judy. But here's the cedar log. So you can see there's a little bit of rot there, but that's like uh. So we're gonna cut it here because look at this branch coming off here. Super cool. So I don't know how heavy it's gonna be, but hopefully. Look at this guy's a Scott. He can probably lift it up over his head. So uh, I don't know. Maybe Scott can feel me cutting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Strap, yeah. Do I stop it? <laughs> go, Jordy, go. 
<laughs> There's commitment, people. <laughs> Okay, you guys can see my feet are soaking wet, but we got it cut through, we got it strapped off. Now Scott's gonna pull up, I tried it with my car, my car's got no guts for it, so Scott's gonna pull up his truck, and we'll try pulling it out with uh, Scott's uh, truck. Try that, I just hooked it through the ring. Oh, there goes the strap. Take two. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, take three. So this is going to spin around. That strap's going to fly off. Okay, hold it there. I keep coming a bit. Go for, go forward a bit. Okay. That's good. Okay, so this piece is a lot heavier than I thought. Like, uh, thanks, Scott. Sorry, Scott. We got it. <laughs> Put it in the trailer, so now we're gonna push it back and then uh, hold on, Scott, and then push it in. got this big sucker in this stuff soaking wet cedar I didn't think it was wet but anyways we're taking this one too ah. come on baby snap Size of it. Uh, I didn't cut it all the way through because my chain hit a rock, but I gotta cut through more there. Um, Go forward, go forward. 
Okay, so uh, we got this big sucker, but uh, we're gonna have to leave this one because Scott blew uh, <laughs> It's not funny, but Scott snapped a tenant in his uh, Elbow or something like that. He's in terrible pain. He felt something snap. I'm not laughing. I'm just like holy fuck I tried to tell him not to do it. He, the guy's just like a bull, right? So anyways Okay, so How are you feeling Scott? I'm so good, man. What happened? What, what, what do you think happened? I blew my bicep, actually. Where you, where? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big hole where, right in here. And I can't Did you feel something go pop? Oh, yeah. No, let me get this tailgate. Okay, gotta go. Okay, so... Scott's just leaving. Man, I feel terrible. So that's about it for me today too. I gotta unlo unload the trailer at his place. Oh man. Okay guys, so you can see there, Scott's got the wood. Uh, I feel terrible. It happened to Scott, um, Judy, Scott's girlfriend. My best friend's probably gonna kill me. But um, this is gonna be the end of this video and I'll be carving those uh, wood spirits tomorrow. Hope you're all good. Um, yeah, bye. Okay, so it's back here. Look at that quilting in the cedar here, or whatever you call it. So Scott's gone to the hospital. Let me measure how uh, wide this is. It's about two and a half feet across, I'd say, close. So anyways, this uh, cedar is soaking friggin' wet. You can see it's dry here. It's dry here, but here, and it's second growth. So, I'll be carving this one day.